Well, hello everybody, this is Gagaplex and I'm going to quickly play Catacomb Snatch, a rather unfortunately named game I must say, but it is an early build by Mojang, made for the humble bundle Mojan event. Uh, those of you who don't know, Mojang are the creators of Minecraft and uh, Humble Bundle is basically a group that uh, uh, organizes these bundles of indi independent games uh, to be sold for charity. And they've been very successful at it, from what I can tell, raising millions of dollars through several bundles. Um, and well, here we go. Alright, these are obviously um, just placeholders. The real menu will look different. I'm pretty sure of that. Um, so here we enter the actual game and as you can see you can walk around in eight directions uh, up, down, left, right and diagonally and it's very brown and blocky and obviously these are like bricks. Um, to tell you a little bit about this game basically what they did was oh there's our first enemy what they did was um, they made a poll and uh, asked people to vote for genre and setting of the game and they decided or rather they announced and then did mix the, f the first and the last of both these categories so uh, the result of the poll was actually that the winner was steampunk setting and the loser was ancient Egypt and so they meshed it and this is what we get we get a steampunk looking con colonial explorer guy with a weird gun I'm not sure if that's the final effect for that either um, and he appears to be fighting in some kind of maybe ancient Egyptian catacomb, I don't know. Um, don't worry, this is a very early build, so what you see here is not representative of the final game. We only have one enemy, we don't really have much else to see so far, but I just thought I'd, um, I'd demo it for a little bit, just so you can get a little view of it. Uh, so, so that's the setting, ancient Egyptian steampunk. Uh, the genre was shoot 'em up, which you can pr probably tell from the actual gameplay here. And the second one was real-time strategy. I'm not sure how they're going to mesh the two. I'm guessing these gems that we are picking up will have something to do with it. Maybe we can buy upgrades or units with it later. Obviously, this very, very early version doesn't feature any of that yet. Uh, but what it already does feature is um, the movement, the firing, a stand-in for all the other enemies, and enemy generators. We can s destroy some of them, the ones that are on the floor, and the others that are like on top of these uh, well, on top of these uh, blocks. We cannot destroy. Maybe this will be a gameplay mechanic later too. Maybe this is just part of this very early build. Either way, um, we can also shoot in eight directions. Um, here's something where I'm not exactly too happy with the with the way it looks right now. Is um, that when you shoot? I don't know if you walk, uh, say, to the lower right, uh, you can shoot in that direction. But if you st hit uh, start hitting uh, the shooting button. Uh, you will keep shooting in that direction no matter what, so you cannot um, say change the direction that you're shooting. Uh, other games like say um, The Binding of Isaac did it differently. You could shoot uh, in a different direction and you could ch while walking and you could change that direction simply by having two sets of keys, one for walking and one for shooting. On the other hand, they did not implement diagonal uh, shooting at all, so I'm not sure what to make of it. I think a combination of the two would be best, but oh well. That's nitpicking considering uh, we don't really know what the game will be like. Right, so we're still walking around killing entities, that's what they're called down there and collecting points in the form of those gems. Um, there's really not much you can do in this early build, but 
uh, you can actually watch them develop the game somewhat on the uh, on the Humble Bundle website. I'll leave a link to it later. Um, and this is where I managed to catch a glimpse of some of the uh, other enemies that will fight in this game. Uh, obviously, these are just placeholders. Um, there'll be mummies. There'll be creatures with. Uh, there'll be creatures with uh, pharaohs' heads, and so on, um, as well as scorpions, spiders, the typical stuff, right? All right, so this is the Humble Bundle website, Humble Bundle Mojam. As you can tell, um, this is the live stream where you can sometimes see them working on enemy designs or, as is the case here, I believe, on um, some of the levels that we'll play later. Uh, there are also four charities which all the proceeds will go to, listed there, Child's Play, Electronic Frontier Foundation, these are t usual partners of the Humble Bundle. The American Re Red Cross was, uh, I think, in the last or maybe the last two Humble Bundles, they uh, they also gave to the Red Cross. And um, the last one, which is new, is the charity Water, which I find to be particularly useful, um, considering how much suffering is currently caused in the world simply for a lack of clean water, which is pretty sad actually uh, I mean there's there's a lot of suffering of course but water is something so basic and cheap and well if you feel similarly or you just want to check out this game even though we have no clue how good it will actually be at the end of the day uh, I recommend that you uh, try this bundle out you can as is usual for the humble bundle set the price yourself Although I have noticed that, at least in the old days, uh, in the other Humble Bundles, it was usually a good idea to go above the average. So that's what I did, and I recommend you do too. I don't know what how, how good this game will be, but in any case it will have an interesting setting. And no matter how good it will be, you'll have uh, donated something to a good cause. I don't know, I think it's a... Uh, possible win and a definite win so win win I don't know anyway as you can see currently they have raised about three hundred thousand dollars their usual humble bundles raise much more around 700 to 1.5 million 700,000 to 1.5 million I believe maybe even more sometimes less but uh, that's usually because um, these other humble bundles run a lot longer and um, this one is only 60 hours and I'm making this video now and there's just 12 hours remaining so yeah there's just less time I hope that this video will maybe convince a few of you to check this out and uh, support it while it still lasts anyway I should also mention that as you can see down there there's like a like a what do you call it I don't know like like a piece of wood <laughs> with uh, with three question marks on it that's where um where the three games that are being produced will be represented currently there's just the question marks and the main game is obviously from mojang but there will be two others one from oxai game studios um with a World War II theme, I believe, and a Wolfire Games game, which also has a name already, the Broadside Express, uh, which I believe will also be Ancient Egypt steampunk mix. But I'm not sure on that, and I have not actually tried any of the other games yet. In any case, this is what the download uh, page looks like at the time of uh, making this movie. Um, as you can see, Catacomb Snatch has already an, an, a picture that's basically this colonial explorer dude that we play as. Um, there is something to try out with the Broadside Express. Maybe I'll make a separate video, but I doubt it. Um, and the Oxide Game Studios game does not have a name yet, nor does it have a download option. But we'll see about that. Anyway, if you want to get to this page, I recommend you donate a little bit, and uh, we'll see then. So if you want to check this out and uh, maybe support charity and
get a possibly good game, who knows, or even three good games, we'll see. Um, check out humblebundle.com and um, I don't know, watch the live stream, read a little bit about it and then decide whether you want to donate or not. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Bye.